to my channel today i'll be talking about some loan hubs you must avoid if you want to live long yes some loan hubs you must avoid if you want to live long. yes there are lots of loan hubs out there and then um, i can categorically say that they are from the pit of hell yes you heard me right in short, if you work for those loan hubs, I can say it loud and clear that you are actually working for the devil itself. That's the truth. They are not helping people. They are just out there to wreck people's life. If they were out there to, you know, help people, why do you think Google would be working so hard to ban them? The federal government of Nigeria, Kenya, America, Philippines, they are working so hard just to make sure that they put an end to whatever these guys are doing out there. So if they were nice as perceived or, or as they want us to believe, then why do you think these organizations are working seriously against them as if they are actually for stars? And in short, that's what they have. You know, uh, over the years, we've seen loan hubs declare people dead just because they couldn't make repayments. That's it. That, that's it. There are some groups on Facebook where you see people talk about their experiences. Okay, let's check out some of them. This is where people get defamed, people get threatened, they take people's pictures, even as they go as, um, as far as taking uh, people's nude pictures, extracting the nude pictures from their phone, as in to defame them. That shows how wicked, how devilish, and how, you know, how uh, their level of criminality. So, one thing about their house, like I said in some of my videos, you see those videos in the link and description section below where you see people you know their hubs are hacking tools they're hacking hubs and what they end up doing is what they steal your data once you install the hub they steal your contact they steal your data they steal everything about you just to defame you to spoil your name to work your career you know and this is bad and that's why governments are against them in short just last year there is an organization in nigeria they call nitida Nitida is in charge of um, ensuring that um, people's or consumers' uh, um, privacy are, are protected. So they, they charge Soko Loan, El Credit, and some other loan organizations, even Okash, charge them, uh, they, they build them, or what I call it now, they find them 10 million naira, you know, just to ensure that these guys stop defaming people, stealing people's details um, to defame them. Just some months ago, in Nigeria, a place called Abiyokuta, a lady burnt herself to death just because of loan hubs. Yes, she was owing about 70000 naira, which is not even up to $100 in uh, local exchange rate in Nigeria. That's because in Nigeria, we have two types of exchange rate. We have the bank exchange rate, and we have the um, uh, the other one, which they call a book EFS. There's a um, black market exchange rate. So the black market exchange rate for hundred dollars is seventy-five thousand. But if you buy the dollars in the bank, you are buying for us. I am as much as um, as low as forty-six thousand. So as I was saying, these loan apps I'm about to mention are loan apps that would actually wreck your life. They will most likely scatter your family, and they will most likely you know give you make you apprehensive. So just avoid them. Run from them. Number one, I'm going to talk about is Soko Loan. Soko Loan is no longer on Play Store. But they have um, agents, they have, you know, uh, they have marketers that contact people privately and, you know, beg them, cajole them into taking loans. They send APK to them, APK files. They send it to them and once you install on your phone, you, uh, you take their loan, they will actually give you the loan. Then the next thing you are finished, they will start defaming you, spoiling your name, uh, saying bad things about you. You take your pictures, steal your, you know, everything and... They will just make sure they frustrate your life. So, so-called loan is the Ogapatapata of them all. If you have ever heard of anything like Ogapatapata, Ogapatapata means the boss, the head, yes, of them all. So, number one loan hub you must avoid is so-called loan. So-called loan is out there to destroy you. Their, loan, their, their interest rate is about 20% per week. So, imagine take 10,000 naira and you have to pay back 12,000 naira within a week. So, what kind of business are you really going to do and make 20% interest within a week? And then, if you are not careful, you know, you have to take it again and again and again and again. Before you know it, you end up working for them. 
Now, another one is L credit. L credit is demonic, it's satanic, and should be avoided at all costs. If you want rest of mind, you want peace of mind, avoid L credit. L credit will, they will uh, do everything just to make sure they wreck your reputation so that you can you know, start begging them up and down and you pay them back. In short, they will call you like one million times a day. They will contact your parents, contact everybody and uh, they, will be, they, they will work seriously against you just to make sure that they wreck your life. Yes. Then we have Alu Credit. Alu Credit is now HC Wallet on Play Store. They keep changing name like Chameleon. They are diabolical, they are demonic and and that's the truth. I am a spiritual person, fine. I'm a Christian. You know, so I'm telling you these things because I know what I'm talking about. If you get a loan from a um, loan hub, from a loan shack, thinking you want to use it for business, most times you end up not using it for business. Or even if you put it in business, your business might not grow. It's just the way it is. It shows the source of their wealth, the source of their money, and also. And that's why I am telling you, I've experienced this before. In short, one of these is I'll make a video where I'll talk about my experience with loan sharks. Yes, I will talk about it, how I fought them, how I overcame, and how I stopped taking loans. Yes. So, Alu Credit is now called HC Wallet on Play Store. These guys are, they are not just the conventional loan sharks. They are worse than loan sharks. You know why? Because they are also first stars. Once you install their hub on your phone, number one, if you apply for a loan of about 10000 these guys might end up paying you like 6,500 naira, and they will be expecting you to pay back 12,000 naira at the end of the one week that, they, that was given to you. After paying back, these guys will ensure that they start hacking your your account to withdraw funds, you know, from you every time. And I want to believe that's not what you want. So once you input your details on HC Wallet, just know that you have given your details to. Fraud stars. If you input your details on on um, Alu Credit, you have given your details to what? Fraud stars. I was once a victim about two or three years ago when I transacted with them. After paying back, these guys kept withdrawing my funds, kept stealing from my account. In short, they were they were going into a Zenith Bank account, and I can remember vividly that I had to send a mail to Zenith Bank. It was Zenith Bank that contacted them, and they had to stop doing all these things. You know, they had to stop. Um, doing the withdrawals for my account. So I am pleading with you, if you must take a loan, go to commercial banks, go to registered organizations, go to licensed organizations, or even licensed loan apps like Carbon, like um, like Fair Money, like um, which other one. We have lots of them. Go to them and take your loans from them. And that's it. So the next one, I have here. There are lots of them on, on Play Store. I'll just list them out so that we don't have to waste much time in mentioning these guys. So we have Okash. It's Okash own is something that breaks my heart because Okash is meant to be to be prudent. Yes, they are licensed. They have Blue Ridge and they own Blue Ridge Microfinance Bank. So they are licensed microfinance bank and they hurt to do things the normal way. But they have been defaming also. Although for some months now, I think they've reduced their level of defamation so they've stopped defaming to an extent but that doesn't stop them from you know they, they call contact people that they call your grantors they stop them that's not an issue once you borrow and you drop your grantors they have the right to call your grantors but when they start calling third parties because they extracted the data from your database then that's an issue and that thing you need to notice maybe all cash is negligent in managing their agents. Maybe the agents are the one doing all this rough work and doing all these things and just to make sure that at least, uh, you know, to get commission. Because what is it? What is mobile banking companies do is they give you a loan, then they hire one agent to manage your loan. Now, if you pay back, the agent gets a commission of about thirty percent from the interest that you are paying back. So imagine if I have to get 80% from your interest, and that's the salary. There is not like salary, that's just it's just a wage or wages or whatever you call it. So it's just a commission. They give you commission. Now, imagine if I only live on commission and I have to come to work every day. That means I have to do everything I can. I have to try every possible means to get this commission. And that's part of what these guys do daily. They get to work and start embarrassing people, harassing people, cursing people, no 
looking for trouble just to ensure that what they get these funds in and get paid at the end of the month. So there are other ones. We have T-Loan. I, I have a list here. I have to do the list so that I don't miss any of them out. We have GG Money. These are dangerous apps. Extremely dangerous apps. We have AJ Loan. AJ Loan has been around for some time. By now, I, I expect it to be out of Play Store. AJ Loan is a dangerous loan app also. We have Go Money. We have Nice Naya. We have them. Um, so easy money. This They are not easy. They are hard money. They, they are. They are fraudulent apps. So, there are lots of them. Anything loan shark, please avoid them. Yes, avoid them as much as you can and you will be fine. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first time of patronizing, uh, of watching our videos, please make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications. And if you want to know how to stop loan apps from hacking your device, please check the link. There's a link in the description section. Use it to check it. I want to you want to clear your data that has been stored on fraudulent loan apps. Also check the description section. I've talked about it. How you can stop taking loans, overcome loan challenges. Then check in the description section. You also see it there. Thanks for watching once again and bye for now.